I'm Jake Abishan. I'm the director of pediatric pain medicine at St. Louis Children's Hospital. A nerve block is something that we can do at the time of surgery for your child that allows us to numb up an area that you're having surgery, usually a leg or an arm. And the big benefits of a nerve block allow us to decrease the amount of pain your child is experiencing while also decreasing the amount of, of strong pain medicines like morphine. A child should have a nerve block because it can improve their surgical experience and allow better pain control. When we have better pain control, that allows them to recover faster and resume their normal activity faster and even things like eating. It also allows us to spare side effects of opioid pain medication that can be like nausea or decreased breathing rate um, or, or constipation. A nerve block is safe and actually over the last 10 to 20 years, there's been a whole a uh, group of studies that have proved that in children nerve blocks are totally safe and especially if we compare that to the risk of using strong pain medicine, these are very safe things that we can do. At St. Louis Children's Hospitals and most pediatric centers, nerve blocks are done under general anesthesia. So the vast majority of our patients are completely asleep and comfortable when we do these. There are a few situations where you may get a nerve block under sedation but not fully awake. And those are usually for teenagers um, or patients that are close to being an adult. And when we do those, we actually numb up the area before we even start and give some sedation medicine. In children, the patient will not be awake during the operation. We do nerve blocks uh, to add on to the other methods we use for pain control, but children will still be completely asleep and comfortable. This is just in addition to help their pain control both during the surgery and afterwards. We can do a variety of nerve blocks uh, and different types of things we call regional anesthesia, which is in essence what a nerve block is. And some of those can range from 10 hours, but if we do things like epidurals or even place a small little tube to help keep numbing up the nerves, those can last up to three days. There are a variety of things we can do to make a nerve block last longer, um, and those include things that we can do while your child's in the hospital. We leave a thin little tube behind, similar to like an IV catheter or tube, and that way we can give a steady dose through a machine of numbing medicine, and we can leave those in up to three to five days. There's also an option if a child were to go home that we can also place those thin little tubes around the nerve with uh, thorough instructions given by our team and a daily phone call by our team to give a steady dose of numbing medicine at home uh, with removal at home as well. If, if you were to go home with one of these nerve block catheters, we will be calling the patient daily. They'll have access to our pain medicine or pain management team, and they'll be able to call us at any point. We have a service available 24 seven and able to troubleshoot any issues they're having at home. But the benefits of having this at home can really improve their pain control and facilitate their recovery. Nerve block is done by a variety of techniques. Um, whether it's an epidural that we use by a standard way of, we say, landmark-based techniques, so it's by an experienced anesthesiologist that usually has done several hundred of these epidurals, or a nerve block of an arm or leg is typically done under ultrasound guidance, so we use a special machine that we can actually see the nerve and everything that surrounds it and allows us to safely give numbing medicine around that nerve. The vast majority of nerve blocks are done under general anesthesia in the operating room. Most of these nerve blocks do not take any time at all. We actually have tracked this at our hospital and the average nerve block takes about seven to 10 minutes to place. Regardless of what we decide to do for the safety of the child or for at the interest of the family, we will be able to manage their pain with a variety of options. Sometimes that's medicine by mouth, sometimes that's medicine through the IV. Um, and that's not always just opioid or strong pain medicines, that's a combination of things like Tylenol and ibuprofen type medicines. Our job as the anesthesiology team and pain management service is to give a variety of options and to weigh the risks and the benefits of each. There's always a choice from the family to whether they proceed with a nerve block or not. If a patient would to decline or a family would decline the use of a nerve block, 
We have very experienced pain management physicians that could use a lot of different techniques in order to adequately control their pain. The great thing about having a child that undergoes surgery at St. Louis Children's Hospital is that you have a collaborative team of surgeons, anesthesiologists, nurses, and a pain medicine team that can ensure that your, your family and your child can get through this surgery in the most comfortable way possible.